Hey guys, Phoenix here, and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I like to make my text for my banners and stuff. I'm going to show you guys how I do the Cinema 4D and the Photoshop in this tutorial. Alright, so I've already opened up my Lightroom. I'm just using Mondays as Lightroom, and for the render settings, I'm just using the best settings, which are like default with this thing. First thing you want to do is you want to go to MoGraph and go to MoText. And you'll have your text here. First thing I do is I change the alignment to middle. And then I just put whatever text I'm going to use in caps inside the thing. Right, so once you've got that, I change the depth to about 70-ish. Once I've done that, I change the font. You can use whatever font you want to use. I'm going to be using the font that I've already chosen. It's called Canyon Coffee. And I'm going to be using the bold date out version because I... Think it looks nicer anyways once you've done that go to caps change the thing that says cap here change that to a fillet cap and do the same for the one underneath it and then just change these numbers uh change the steps to 15 and the radius to 2 and make sure you do that for both of them all right now that looks pretty good i like how that looks now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard i'm gonna go click on this this blue thing here and i'm gonna go to wrap should end up like this and so what you do now is you hold and drag this orange dot thing here until you get something like that and just bring it out like that and that just gives the text a nice curvature thing and then go over here to the wrap thing and these dots you just want to click the top one twice to make it red so then you don't have to see the box thing right so now what you want to do is you want to press c on your keyboard with the text selected go inside here right so now i'm just going to click on the letters and you can move them around with the rotation tool and i'm just going to mess around with them a little bit i'll be back once that's done right so once you've done that you just want to double click down here in this space bit to make a new material double click on the material to open up the material edit thing go to color and then go to this gradient thing i'm gonna change the color to i think maybe a bluish color something like this i'm just gonna put that on some of these letters like these ones and now i'm gonna make another material and i'm gonna make this one a little bit darker so i'm gonna get the eyedropper thing just do that and then go down a bit maybe change it up and then i'm just gonna drag that back on to here right so now we've got that i'm gonna get a camera and set that all up so go to camera and then go to here hold click on this thing and then get a circle drag the camera underneath the circle so it does this double tap on the dot things on the camera and do the same for the circle go into the camera by clicking this thing it'll be white that means you're inside the camera and then go down here to where it says focal length and change that to 28 and then zoom in and here's basically where you just choose how you want to like render out the text i don't know anyways i just get the circle after i've zoomed in a bit and just play around with it and move it around if you want to go back for anything because you don't like it just press ctrl z or command z on your keyboard all right so i like how that's looking i'm just going to save this real quick because sometimes when i render stuff it doesn't work out too well all right so once you've done that you just want to render it out and yeah i'll see you guys in the photoshop bit once this is done Right guys, I'm back now. I am in Photoshop and I just opened up my text and gave it a background. So first thing I do is I make a layer style thing. So just double click on the text and add a inner glow. And I have my inner glow set to around 22. It's just a white one with the blend mode set at overlay. And I right click on that and rasterize that. Next one I use, this is one I use for like basically everything. This one is like lots of stuff. I'll just show you my settings so you can copy them. First is a gradient overlay with these settings. Then I have another one with these settings and then color overlay make the opacity just anything under 25 and then a uh, satin just this then a inner glow a uh, color dodge one same color as your text and low opacity and then a inner shadow with these settings now if you want to save this use it for yourself click new style and then okay and that will add it over here so you can just click on it and it will already add this stuff to it right so press ok and then right click on that again rasterize layer style right so once you've done the layer style stuff hold control on your keyboard Board and press J or command if you're on Mac and that'll just duplicate that layer and then once you've done that go to filter filter gallery and go to chrome and add a chrome and have the settings set to these and then change the blend mode to overlay, then the opacity down to around 60-ish. Then click this thing here, this is a layer mask, I'm gonna use lots of these. So just remember this, just remember how to make these. So you go down here and you click on that, and you'll get this white thing here. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to your brush tool, have the opacity set to 50, you can do that up here. Change the size, make it just big enough, I'm gonna change it to 600. Now you just wanna make sure it's set to black down here, and just brush away the bits where you don't really want it. If you say I got rid of it everywhere, 
anywhere and you want to edit places press x on your keyboard that'll swap around these things and make it white and you can just add it back in so just get rid of the bits you don't really want right now that's kind of subtle you can't really see it but it's there and i just like having that makes it look less flat i guess okay so once i've done that next thing i do is i add these two textures and this is just like an ocean thing and then this one's like a metal thing i'll put links to these in the description so you guys can use them as well because i do use these on everything i'm gonna have this one and make sure it covers like the whole text you might just want to like make it bigger in some bits and change that to overlay and then hold alt on your keyboard and just get your mouse and hover it between the two things and you'll see this box thing and that just sets it so it's only on here then the opacity down to 70 ish make a layer mask and once again just brush away the bits you don't want so i'm gonna do that okay so i did that and if i just hide and show it again you see it kind of makes a difference makes it look better uh so merge those layers basically do the same thing for this one right so i've done that and i've merged layers and stuff and so now i'm gonna duplicate this again with Control or command j go up to filter filter gallery and this time we're going to be adding a glowing edges make sure you have these settings and then on top of that click this thing down here to make a new one and have plastic wrap uh, use these settings and then post ridges and make sure you have these settings and just press ok and this looks really weird but if you go to overlay change the opacity down to 50% make a layer mask just brush away the bits that you don't want is basically what you do just lots of this then merge these again control or command j duplicate it filter filter gallery and finally we're just going to add this glowing edges and this glowing edges has these settings make sure you do use the different settings because it's kind of important they look different change that to overlay or you can use color dodge or linear dodge, but I like overlay. I also like soft light. Um, soft light needs some more love. So I'm gonna use soft light and then change that down to 50%. Just brush away the bits. We don't want it. As you can see, this is already looking a lot better than what we started with. This is what we started with and this is what we've got now. It already looks a lot more detailed. Now that we've done all this, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it once again. I'm gonna go to filter, blur, and then lens blur. And this blurs it and once again, make a layer mask just paint away the bits we don't really want it anyways that just looks nice if you haven't noticed already this is just a whole lot of layer masks and duplicating layers and doing effects and stuff to it that's basically all i do merge those and then duplicate that again once you've got the blur go to blur again go to radial blur change it to five press ok go down here to layer mask once again brush away sort of in the middle bit is where i usually get rid of it turn the opacity down a little maybe down like down to 80%, merge those again. All right, so once you've done that, duplicate that once again, go to filter, blur, and this time we're gonna add a motion blur, this is the last blur. Change the angle to zero, and change the distance to around about 28, and once again, layer mask, and paint away the bits you don't really want. That's how I do my blurs and stuff. I use that for renders as well. All right, so we've got this now. Now is the part where I start adding effects and stuff from packs. All right, so the first pack I use is this one. If you go to this person's self, I here you can buy it i think it's paid it's a really good pack though i always use it and i mainly just use the water effects and the flares and stuff i go to the water section i just choose one of these water things click on it right click on it duplicate layer and duplicate it to whatever document you have your text on Control t to move it around so just put it anywhere right click on that and go to warp you can just mess around with it like that anyways just move it around i have moved around already i think it looks nice just press enter on your keyboard go to filter blur motion blur and we're going to be blurring it again this time only a blur of about again nothing over 20 so around about 12 have it like that and i'm gonna do another one i'm gonna blur it again motion blur and i'm just gonna do it like that six uh make a layer mask and once again paint away bits you don't want i like to have it like this i like to use just lots of subtle effects on my stuff and yeah so once that's done right click on that and press apply this time we're not going to merge these because i don't want to do that i have all my fix and stuff in like a separate folder and so now we're just going to add another water and keep adding waters and stuff until you're satisfied if you if you don't have money to buy this pack because i think it is paid if you want you can just look up like water on google images or something and and then drag it in and change the blend mode to divide and um yeah so i'll be back once i've added my water bits and i'm satisfied right so don't use too much water because that looks weird just have like little bits next thing i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna add a sword glow thing which a lot of you are probably like what the heck so as this opens up this is just hansel's hansel's that pack this one the one that everyone has hopefully if you don't have it you should buy this this is good or you could just make your own sword glow thing or whatever 
whatever but I go to the sword swipes and I, I usually use this one or this one so I usually use one two and five and I duplicate those over to here just like I did with the water and once again I warp them and stuff and I just like to have them sort of come around the, the letters and stuff like this I just think that looks pretty cool it's probably really weird and looks ugly but I like it anyways um, once I've like sort of like curved it around a letter I go control U on my keyboard or command U if I'm on Mac and it'll open up this new saturation thing and if you just drag this across it changes like the color of the thing and you can use this for anything so if you wanted to change the color of anything uh, you can just do this it's a quick way of doing it and I'm gonna go filter I'm just gonna blur it again I like to blur everything I really like blurs alright so once you've blurred that make a layer mask and you just want to paint away some of the bits so once you've done that that. I'm gonna duplicate that one and you can put this on like another letter and just reuse it Basically all this is is just doing different stuff until you think it looks good So yeah layer mask paint away the bits I don't want which is like here and yeah That looks that looks pretty good if you want you can do more But I usually just like to have it like that right so next thing I do is I add some lens flares and stuff uh, You can get these from the internet or any pack. I'm gonna be getting them from this pack the HNZ one I'll Just go to flares and I had to use number six Seven on quite a few things. You can adjust it and stuff. Lots of adjusting, otherwise everything just looks the same and it's boring. So I think I'm just gonna have this here. I'm just gonna make it thinner like that. Right, so once you've got that, just paint away the bits you don't really want. I actually don't really like this, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna use a different one, but just add flares and stuff. I use this one quite a lot, so sometimes lens flares don't really look good, so I don't always use them all the time. I'm not really using it as like a proper lens flare, I'm sort of using it as like a lighting thing. So I'm just gonna have it like that, and I'm gonna blur that. Uh, blur everything. If it's not blurred, it's not good. It's my motto. So make a layer mask and just get rid of the bits you don't want once again. Okay, so I've done that. That and just adds like some lighting stuff. Uh, the final pack I like to use for effects and stuff is this other one by Hansel. This one's free. I'll put a link to this in the description. Uh, this has got some nice flares and stuff. I'm actually going to be using this. I really like the colors that it is, so I'm not going to mess around with them too much. Just keep moving stuff around until it looks good, and if everything fails and it doesn't look good at all, uh, don't use it. Just get rid of it. Or if there's bits that look bad, like that bit there where it was too bright, get rid of that. Okay, so last thing I'd like to add after I've added flares and stuff is lightning. I like to use these ones, number nine. I always add blue to these because otherwise they just look a bit weird. Just sort of have these like here and then duplicate that, put them down like here and then once again just put them put them everywhere I'm just gonna merge these and blue these once you've done that I add a new layer thing uh, hold alt on my keyboard and just select a color from the thing make my brush so it's big enough that it covers the whole thing but not too big so maybe 800 and just go over it like that choose another color maybe just change the blue mode to color dodge or Overlay, and I'm gonna go with soft light. Soft light is like overlay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do another one. I'm just gonna go over it with this darker color. Uh, color dodge, turn that down a bit, and hold control on your keyboard and press G, and put that in a folder and just call that effects. That is how. I pretty much do my text. Uh, obviously you can add more effects and stuff, but I don't want to make it too overly affected, so yeah. Right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this text tutorial. This is actually a part of a three-part tutorial thing where I show you how to make a banner. The other bits for how to make a Minecraft banner will come out soon, hopefully. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I also do speed outs and stuff if you're interested in that, and might make some other type of videos soon, I don't know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.